Hello everyone! In this video, we will show you some of the ways to create basic lines in AutoCAD. In order to use any basic function, first you have to select it. If you begin typing on your keyboard, AutoCAD will automatically begin searching for whichever function you type in. For the line tool, you can simply type L or you can type the entire word. This is a quick way to find most functions while you're working. If you press enter, it will select the function at the top of the list. Now that you have your line tool selected, you can simply left click anywhere on the grid and it will begin your line. By left clicking anywhere on the grid again, it connects the two points together. Press enter and the line will stop. You can also select your line tool in the top left hand corner of the screen. In order to draw a new line, you will have to reselect your line tool. In the bottom right, there is a toolbar with several options. Try turning on snapping. Snapping will allow your lines to stick to the points on the grid and create lines based on exact increments. On this same toolbar, you can also turn on ortho mode. With ortho mode on, your lines will only draw at a perpendicular angle or 90 degrees vertically and horizontally. This is a very useful function for creating shapes with precision, and it helps ensure that you don't get any crooked lines when you're drawing up a plan. In the bottom right, there's also an options menu for snapping. For example, if we turn on midpoint, the cursor will automatically highlight the midpoint of any line when you hover near it. Now when you draw a new line, your points will snap to the midpoint of whichever line you select. This is another great way to save time and get exact measurements. Another way to draw lines is to input the length of your lines manually. First you select your line tool in the top left, or by typing L and pressing enter. You'll notice that there's a box next to your cursor that says specify first point. You can simply type in a value, press comma, and enter a second value after that. In this case, we entered 0, 0, then press enter. When you type 0, 0 in the line tool, it will begin your line at the origin of X and Y, which is the location of the value of zero on your grid. The way the grid works in AutoCAD is with horizontal and vertical values. X is horizontal and Y is vertical. When you're manually entering values for lines, you can also use the direction of your mouse to tell the line where to go. I can point the line in the direction I want it to go and type in the value of the length and the line will travel in that direction however many increments I type in. This is a way of speeding up your process if you already know the dimensions of your lines, and you can easily create perfect shapes like squares and triangles with ortho mode turned on. Speaking of creating triangles, now we'll talk about inputting the angle of your lines. Select your line tool. Next, enter the value for how long you want your line to be. Then press tab on your keyboard. Type in the degrees, say 45 on your keyboard, and press enter. Now it has created a line that is 10 units long at a 45 degree angle. Another handy shortcut when you're working with the same tool over and over is to use the repeat function. By right clicking on your screen, you can select the option at the top of the box. This function repeats whatever the last function is that you used, in our case, the line tool. This is handy for creating multiple shapes in a row. After ending a series of lines, you can simply right click and select repeat line to gain access to the line tool again. These are all the basic ways to create lines in AutoCAD. If you take time to practice these methods outside of this video, it will only speed up your productivity and make it easier for you to create plans in the future. Thanks for watching. For more help with AutoCAD and other related software, be sure to check out our playlists and other tutorials.